Hey guys, in this video I will show you what you can do if your DaVinci Resolve on the iPad is running slow. What I mean by that is let's say you have some clips here for example in your timeline, I'm using my pencil here right now and I'm going through the timeline but somehow it isn't responsive at, as it should be. And I'm using now an M1 iPad Pro, but sometimes it just it just lags for whatever reason. Obviously, there's a couple of steps that you can do. For example, one step could be that your iPad is just full. Check out your iPad storage. So for example, go back in here to the settings and then here in the general. Make sure that your iPad still has here on the iPad storage some space left. That could be the biggest problem for most people because they are running out of storage very fast. But in this video, I want to show you now a very simple hack that you now can use. It's not a hack, but we basically will generate proxy files. So it depends now, not every video clip has the issue. Sometimes you load a video clip and no problem. You can just run it through it, even on the older iPads, no problem. But it depends on the codec of the video. Sometimes you're using 8K material, sometimes a, a different type of codec. For example, GoPro videos are usually known that the codec is very hard to read from the program. So what could you do? What could you do? We could generate a different file. But we don't have to do this because we can generate proxy files in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. This is something that wasn't possible since the beginning when DaVinci Resolve came to the iPad, but now we can generate them. And the funny thing is if you're here in the cut page and for example, you right click on any of the clips, you see here, relink proxy media. If you, for example, use the Blackmagic camera app and you make videos, you can change the settings to generate proxy files as well. So you can even create proxy files just with the camera from Blackmagic. But you can also generate proxy files here with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. But the funny thing is, you can't do this in the cut page. So you need the edit page for that. Because if I look here, there's only the relink, but that's it. I don't see generate proxy files. So for that, we have to come to the edit page. If you don't know how to open the edit page, I made a video here on my channel where I show you how to unlock all of the other pages. We have them even here on the iPad. So definitely check out my video here on my channel. And then when you are on the edit page, if you now right click, for example, here on the clip, you will see way more options. And we see here generate proxy media. So in that case, I will now do the following. I will select everything in here and now right click and I will ge generate proxy media. It will ask me now where I want to generate the proxy media. For this test, I will just use it here in the downloads folder. But what you should do is if you have a bigger project, maybe also create a folder just for that one project where you place all of your media, all of the assets in that one folder. It has the big advantage that you can take all of this and later even move to another computer, PC, Mac. It's always good like best practice that you always put everything into one folder. So for that pur purpose, I create now a new folder here under downloads, new folder, and I call this proxies. So, and when I'm done, I say here open, and now it will generate my proxy files for me. And the cool thing about DaVinci Resolve is you can always change the view between proxies or the normal ones. So what is a proxy actually? So a proxy is basically just a smaller resolution of your file. So imagine you're using an 8K video and your iPad can't handle it. What you can do is you could create a proxy file that is only like 2K or maybe 1K and then you edit everything. And while you're editing in DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci is using the proxy file. But then when you render your file, when you create your original video, it will not be the, the, the shitty version, the, 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 the dumbed down version. It will actually use the original file, but you can still edit because it's faster to edit. So when the proxy generation is done, we will see now here that we have here high quality and behind there is like this little pinkish color. What we can do is here on the top, we can switch and say prefer camera originals, then I will edit the original files. But if there are proxies, I can change this here to proxies. And now you see, I see here the proxies and also in my timeline, which footage is using the proxies. This is a very good way for you to see which of the footage actually has a proxy and which one not. For example, if I would still have a file that doesn't have the proxy, I would see now here high quality. So, and now I can use my pencil go through this without changing anything about RAM and speed because I have another video here on my channel. If you want to increase the RAM for DaVinci Resolve, you can actually do this. There's some settings. So definitely check out the other video about performance issues, what you can do. There's a lot of little steps that you can do to improve the speed, but the biggest impact on the speed for DaVinci Resolve will always be if you use proxies, if your machine runs slow. So for example, with these kind of videos and these kind of drone footage, I had a problem with the codec. And now I can just simply go through this and see how it's supposed to be. 
Perfect. Now I can be very fast, go editing. And this is a very good tip, even if you have an older iPad, if you don't have one of the M1, M2 or M4 iPads. But even the M1, M2 or M4 can have these issues if you're using a video with a codec that is just hard to read and then it will lag and you're wondering what is happening. So this is the best way how you can speed up your performance in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I hope you learned something. If you're new to my channel, I'm Daniel. Here it's all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I also created a complete masterclass for DaVinci Resolve where I take you from a beginner to a pro and I show you really everything about the color page, about how to set up projects so you can seamlessly work in the cloud, work on the iPad, work on the Mac. So definitely check out this masterclass because it's made for you. It's a link here in the description. And if you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe and ding-a-ding -ding the bam-bang gong. I'm Daniel. See you in the next video. Bye.